Squadron. What's good? Alright, today's episode is called Water Blowfield Codex and Decoded. This shit is all the way decoded. Now, how this works. Alright, let me move this dog out the way. I got some stuff up on screen, as always. So we're going to break down the basics of how the software is working and the, and the plugins and got to shot them. All right, now let's get the uh, pointer scalping. All right, so we're dealing with sine wave here. And I have a diagram that will show you better explain this, this jumble. I know it looks jumbled. Look, let me, let me zoom in. I know. All right, this is sine. This is triangle. So zero, one. This is a uh, pulse, pulse inverted. So this is zero, one, and then two, or two inverted. This is play table, which is a fixed pulse wave. I'll explain that in a little bit. This is three, which is saw, and this is four, which is square, obviously, because square has four corners. I told you we're gonna do this stuff by number. So, sign, triangle, <coughs> pulse. Zero, one, two. The pulse inverted. Play table, which would be two, two P play table. So, and then an inverted version. I'll show you why. And I had to do it like that because you know pulse is smooth moving, and this is obviously edged. Saw three, <clears throat> square four. All right. So, let me get this back on here. So, all right, to plug in. So you're probably looking like, all right, well, we can't even see uh, the phase engine. We don't even know what this jumbled bullshit is. Well, here, I have a diagram. I'll explain. Now, on this diagram, okay, for this engine in particular, and for, okay, I, a lot of stuff I've already phased anyway. Like, I, I, I allowed you to do it like this, sigils, seals, runes, crests, stuff like that. I've already, all right, but I'll get into that later. Alright, so pulse width knob is controlling the pulse width, obviously, because that's what it does. I can't rewrite that. But in theory, that's what you would want to say. But see, the program in the blow field, I decoded it. I decoded it with these numbers here. Now, the thing is with the in the blow field, we go to a regular oscillator. 16 foot is two cycles. Up, down, up, down, two cycles. Single cycle is 32 foot. 64 would be half of that, so half of a cycle. And a quarter of a cycle would be 128, because that would be half of a half. This, this is going up by halves and down by halves. Eight, four, two, one. One and one is two, right? Two and two is four. Four and four is eight, eight, eight. 16, 32, 32, 64, 64, 64, 128. Got them shot them. Right? Okay, well, when you write stuff into the blow field, this is what makes my oscillators better. Because you're probably like, why, why would you even rewrite the oscillators? Well, look, in the software, as you will see, when you pull it up, it'll be a single cycle. Well, in the blow field, a single cycle or a sine wave is this 32 foot so when you look at it in software in theory you're thinking a 32 foot however when you load stuff up to the blow flow it is an 8 foot registry whether you do it like this so a single cycle is one up one down and in this case when we get into si uh, sigils and stuff like that we're painting portraits you you should only do it in a one cycle because that's how I tried to do it in other ways and it just becomes jumble you can't even it's retarded that's why you do it in, in this form because then you can actually see what you're, you're screwing around with you know you want this <laughs> not this I mean this is cool but you know you got to add a little bit of that you know like how, uh, what's his name? Bob Rogers said you got to add a little bit of dark in there for the light days, you know, because they're, nowadays they're uh, bright and sunny, right? You know, I'm like the Bob Rogers of synthesis, dude. Just trust me and listen. Now, when you load this stuff in here, one cycle is 32 foot. We know that. 
the Blowfield, it dictates that. But when you load a 32-1 in, it really registers as, as this. So you can have the full spectrum when you go down and up. That's artificial intelligence for you. A very smart machine. Now, if you, how, okay, basically the lowest you can go with a regular oscillator is 128 feet. Well, with my plugins, if you turn your pulse width down to zero, anywhere between zero and 31, you're in a single cycle. So if you're in a single cycle and you're and it's already plugged in here, pulse width, you're in a single cycle. When you turn it down, this is 30, this is actually 32, then 16 is 64, then this is 128, that's 256, that's 512. I'd say I hacked it. Because now you get super low oscillation. Listen. See what I mean? See that you get all the you get all that robust tonic tone out of that. See, you can't do that with a, you can't do that with the normal oscillators. Try that try that with the normal oscillators and see what you get. You're not gonna get any of that. Now, the numbers go as you see here, red and blue. 
0 through 15 would be this. 16 through 31 would be blue. That's the inverted version. That's why it's called phase oscillator. Phase 50x would be 50x the 50 times the harmonics. <clears throat> you see this shit. So 0 and 16 are the first cycle. 32 and 48 would turn it up to 2. 64 and 80 would turn it up to 4. 96 and 112 would turn it up to um, 8. Now, the reason why I did that is because you can go into the negative portion of sound. You know, zero feet, negative one, negative two, negative four. You know, because if you turn up to the maximum cycle and then you turn the footage up, I already told you right here how the machine breaks it down. 32 registers as eight. 16 will register as four. Eight will register as two. Four will register as one. A two, uh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. One cycle will register as eight foot, and that's 32 foot. Two cycles is 16 in the software will register as four foot in the blow field. Four cycles or eight foot will register as two feet into the blow field. An eight cycle or four foot in the software will register as one foot in the blow field. A 16 will register as two in the software, two foot, and then it will register as a half a foot in the blow field. And the 32 would be one foot, and then obviously that should actually be zero. Excuse me. Let me fix that. I'll fix that right now. That should be zero. Because that's the be all end all number. Without zero, you have, I mean, come on, you have to have zero. And then so on and so forth. But the, the software doesn't go higher than 32. So, okay, I'm going to try to wrap this up. So if you have something in there that is already at 32 foot because it's a single cycle, i.e., um, Probably stuff like this, like prism or liquid metal or metal or crystalline or chromium or liquid metal tuning forks or crystalline tuning forks, stuff like that. Or seals or sigils or crests or shit like that. Uh, that would be done in a single cycle. So if you turn it down to 60, or if you, if you take this, which would be 8, so 8, you turn it to 16, right, 16 would then be 64 and then 32 in the blow field would then be 128 and then 64 in the blow field would be 256 and then 128 in the blow field which you know you can't go any further would there be 512 feet you see how that works that is how that works okay if it is a single cycle in here it will register as 8 if it is 2 it will register as 4 feet but you have to understand that two cycles equals 16 feet. One cycle equals 32 foot because that's what the blow field dictates and that's how it actually works because synthesis is based off of pipe organ, um, organ pipes, um, the footages and stuff. That's how this is all determined. I'm telling you that. Organs were the first synthesizers. I know this to be true because you had to actually hook up stuff to them like horns and other wind instruments and yatamashata because the wind would play that. If you ever seen an Aeolian harp, which is things we will be making on the blow field and stuff like that, you'll, they're giant metal apparatuses and the wind blows through them and they make crazy ass noise. Go look them up. Okay, I'm telling you, my name's Blue. I know about sound. I'm, I come from this. I am this. Okay, I'm telling you that. We all do. And you better listen closely because I told you the, 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 ear, the ear is the tuning fork. You have all this going on in there, all the comb minus plus, the band pass 12, 24, probably 6, 3, all types of slopes, low pass, high pass, all that's going on. Because all sound is noise, all sound is noise, we just perceive it because our filters are working in our ears. I told you that. If you don't, if you can't hear, all you hear is and every time somebody talks to you, That's just like the bandpass filter. When you're when you're tuning in on a radio, what are you doing? You're trying to find a frequency till you get to 107.9, and then everything's clear. There's no more static. 107.9. You've just tuned into the blah 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 blah. Mm, shut up, man. We don't want to hear that gossip. But you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You tune into that stuff. This is how the, this is how the shit works. I'm going off of this. Three three five two eight. You know what it is. Corvin crew. Uh, this is the. An opening episode of how um, this stuff works. 
We'll break down episode two. We'll get back into this phase oscillator stuff, and we'll talk about looping envelopes, LFOs, Piazza Shata. It's not over. I'll be back.